everyone and welcome to Season 3, Episode 11 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in ECW history with match number 40 on our list, which is the ECW World Television Championship match between the champion, Too Cold Scorpio, and the challenger, Eddie Guerrero, from the ECW three-way dance event held on April the 8th of 1995. Um, this is a match that seemingly gets better every time I watch it, which is quite remarkable. Uh, it is, it is a classic. It's, it's so very good. Um, essentially what we've got here is Two Cold Scorpio had just regained the ECW World Television Championship from Dean Malenko a couple of weeks prior to this contest. Uh, he had previously lost the title to Malenko in the fall of 94. Um, Eddie Guerrero was making his ECW and specifically ECW Arena debut with this match. Um, he was coming in with a lot of hype, having appeared at the uh, AAA When Worlds Collide pay-per-view uh, back in November of 1994. Uh, him and his late partner Art Barr main event of that show was Los Gringos Locos against Elio DeSanto and Octagon in a, a very famous uh, hair versus masks uh, match. Um, got a lot of hype uh, online and, you know, in the dirt sheets at the time, if you were able to see that. Uh, ECW fans, obviously very, you know, smart to international wrestling. Uh, so Guerrero was coming in with hype. Uh, however, uh, what was initially supposed to be Los Gringos Locos coming in, uh, Art Bar unfortunately passed away um, due to complications from an overdose uh, in uh, really just a couple of weeks after when worlds collide. So what seemed like it was going to be this team's, you know, big, you know, U.S. break, um, unfortunately didn't happen. So Eddie Guerrero decided to dedicate the rest of his career, specifically his U.S. career, to his late partner. Um, so Guerrero comes in, he's got this hype, the crowd is, you know, seemingly familiar with him, and they are very, very hot. Um, this match starts hot. Both Scorpio and Guerrero are, are a little chippy. They're shoving each other, um, which, you know, was kind of surprising to me watching this because I wasn't aware of any beef, you know, prior to this. But um, that's that's what we get. It, it starts the match on a good, a good front. Uh, they do some really great just opening, you know, athletically good mat wrestling. Um, Guerrero goes for a handshake, which Scorpio refuses and shoves him. Uh, Scorpio, you know, finally gets his head together at this point, you know, little bit of a tweener, right? He's a face, but he's starting to kind of move, shift into that heel roll a little bit more. Um, so, you know, Scorpio finally gets his head on straight, though, goes for the handshake, and instead, um, it's Eddie Guerrero this time that clotheslines him. And this just starts a great Eddie Guerrero, you know, run of doing every dirty tactic he can possibly do. You know, he lies, he cheats, he steals, right? Uh, you know, a heel in Mexico, um, and that's what he went with here. But the interesting thing is, and it, it really bleeds into the story of the match overall, and it shows the, the power of Eddie Guerrero, um, is that even though he's doing all of these heel moves, he is completely beloved by the crowd. Uh, they essentially turn him as the default babyface, uh, despite the fact that he's cheating. Um, and it leads to, you know, ECW smartly not forcing anything down the crowd's, you know, throats, recognizing that the crowd loves him and, you know, allowing him to be a face for the rest of his, you know, all, very short altogether ECW run. Um, so that's what we get here. Uh, we get Guerrero just, you know, low blows, eye rakes, you know, whatever he can do. Um, he also gets to show off his incredibly gorgeous, flashy offense. And it's really weird because when you see later Eddie Guerrero, you know, you know, the frog splash is his finishing move, right? He actually borrowed that move from Art Barr. Um, but here he hits it very early on for a near fall. He hits, a, you know, his beautiful helo off the ropes, his brain buster and the frog splash, and it gets two. And it's, again, watching it now with how much Eddie Guerrero we got, to, you know, to thankfully see through the years, it, it feels a little weird. Um, he hits a great dive into the entranceway. Um, you know, he hits a tornado DDT. He hits a Rana off the top. This match is, you know, very much designed to showcase Eddie Guerrero. Um, we end up getting a Scorp run at the end. And this is where I feel that this match improves. And I, I've really started to understand the story of it. Uh, Too Cold Scorpio is this flashy wrestler, right? That's his deal. He's this, you know, high flyer and the crowd loves him. And he does all of these great moves. Um, but he's not getting that here. There's a guy that's outperforming him from that flashing. It's a guy that's cheating and is still getting cheered over Scorpio. 
And you can see the frustration subtly build in Scorpio throughout the match. And, and it leads into an ending um, where he ends up, um, Eddie goes for another uh, Hurricane Rana. Uh, Scorpio pushes him off. Eddie does a gorgeous backflip to evade, you know, the, the bump. Uh, but Scorpio takes him out with a crossbody, goes up top and hits a moonsault and only gets two. And this is where that frustration really comes out. Um, and, and, and normally watching a match, I hate when guys don't try to win, right? Because I think that's ultimately the point of a wrestling match. But what he does instead is he hits a power bomb, um, he hits a flip leg drop, he doesn't cover. Uh, he goes up top and he hits the tumbleweed, you know, one of his signatures, and he pulls Guerrero up at two. And these are things that originally frustrated me with this match, but now watching them, I see how brilliant they are because I know that Scorpio is, is basically now trying to show up Eddie and make him pay and make the ECW you know, crowd pay for the fact that they cheered him over him and, and he's gonna do whatever he take, you know, takes to blow him away. Um, and this leads to Guerrero catching him with a flash, you know, reverse, basically prawn hold, like a, a victory roll roll up. And it's enough to just hold Scorpio's, you know, shoulders to the mat for three. Um, Eddie Guerrero wins the ECW World Television Championship in his debut, upsets Scorpio. Scorpio, you know, basically his, his arrogance and his frustration was his downfall. Um, and that would lead to him becoming a full-on heel throughout, you know, the, the following months. Whereas, like I said, Eddie Guerrero, you know, would have this great short baby face run um, and eventually establish his feud with uh, Dean Malenko where they would trade the TV title back and forth. Um, this match is so great. It's, a, you know, the, the first real, you know, early U.S. example we have of Eddie Guerrero, not counting, you know, NWA job or stuff he did, you know, in, in 89, 1990. Um, and it's just amazing to see a crowd immediately fall in love with him. Um, you know, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, obviously, you know, I don't need to talk about the legacy that he left. Um, but, you know, this, this match really shows how special he was. Uh, this match is fantastic. Uh, it hits so many of the check boxes. I look forward to a great match, great action, great drama, great crowd. Um, you know, a, a good story throughout it. Uh, you can watch it, of course, on the WWE Network. It might be available on Peacock. I don't know what ECW they have on there yet, but I'm sure you can track it down online if you look hard enough. You can follow my account here on YouTube so that you never miss one of these videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50, and you can please join me again tomorrow as we can continue to count down for Wrestling's Top 50.